We'd like to welcome you to BeMoreNews.com. We're here with the governor of the state of Maryland, Martin O'Malley. Good evening, sir. Hey. You have uh, 100 years of NAACP celebrations going on here at the State House. Incredible event. Yeah, really great food, by the way. It's a wonderful event. It's a government house in the state of Maryland. You know, a state where certainly the legacy of, of African American families has been such an integral part of the founding of our country and the struggles of our country. And it's a great way for us to celebrate and contribute in our, in our way as a state to the 100th anniversary of the biggest, baddest civil rights organization in the United States of America or the world. Governor, yeah, I'll get straight to the jugular. How are we doing with MBE? How do we know that we're making progress? I have seen you at the Board of Public Works meetings. I've, I've seen you, the Comptroller, the Treasurer, all ask uh, people coming before you how much MBE participation, and you were the leader starting back in 99 when you took office as Mayor of Baltimore. Where are we today? Well, we're doing much better than we were. Not as well as we're going to do as we move forward into the future, but there's a tremendous amount of political alignment an agreement that the diversity of the state's uh, contracting pool is a very, very important part of strengthening, strengthening and growing the ranks of our middle class in the state of Maryland. So, you know, I think we're up about $300 million on uh, where we were before, and we need to continue to make those strides. One of the areas that never ever came under MBE scrutiny at all was school construction. Lieutenant Governor Brown and I are very proud of the fact that we've done a billion dollars in new school construction, but for the first time, uh, which is a record, by the way, the billion dollars in school construction. But for the first time, we're also asking how much of that is minority business? How much of, how diverse is the uh, subcontractor pool that goes into constructing our new schools or putting new roofs and things on our schools? And, you know, so we're making a lot of strides. It's the first time that we've actually ever had in our state a system for monitoring and measuring that. And if people say, uh, some people ask, well, how can we verify that? It all rolls up. I mean, it's all accountable. You can go in and check the methodology of it. We post a lot of things online. If, if people want more to verify that, they're welcome to have them. But, you know, these numbers are not made up out of thin air. And I think as uh, evidence of the strides that we're making, we see growing numbers of people coming together in the organizations that advocate for greater MBE uh, participation. And uh, even in these tough times, I think most minority contractors would recognize that Maryland's come a long way in just two years, not as far as we're going to go in the next six. We're hearing great things about the public schools here in the state of Maryland. I understand they're the best in the country. That's right. Education Week magazine says we have the best public schools in the United States of America. No other state can claim that this year, and it's due in no small part to the strides that have been made in places uh, like the city of Baltimore, where there was so much opportunity for improvement of our school system, and and the kids and the parents and the teachers have not let us down. Record investments over the last two years, including this year, uh, thanks to President Obama stepping up quickly with those stimulus dollars, we were able to maintain our big ramp up investment in public education. Uh, I got a, this great email the other day that, that said that Baltimore City students, for the first time in the 10, 12, 15 years that they've been taking the Stanford test, actually scored above the national average in reading and math in the city of Baltimore. So when all of us crow and put out our chests and talk about how proud we are of the number one public school system uh, in the country being Maryland Public Schools, the big, big driver of that and a huge part of that success were the strides that have been made in some of our poorer school districts where kids have really been stepping up. Once our children, all of our children, had the benefit of full day kindergarten in our state, we saw the test scores rise. God gives all of our children the ability to learn, the ability to think, the ability to create. And now fortunately as a state, we're living up to that potential by making the investments that we must. Good deal. Thank you very much for your time. Governor Martin O'Malley, keep watching BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news where we uncover the truth.